guys, look at that. Mani 2 Mark IV, 100 millimeter travel air fork with lockout and rebound adjustment. What's up guys, Alex over here, about to do a real-time trail review on the Mani 2 Mark IV fork that I installed on this uh, client's bike. So without further ado, I'll leave affiliate links for all these products in the description below. And if you want to support the channel a different way, you can do cash app, whatever you want to do. A uh, good idea for free is just to share this video on social media. Hope you like this video and let's ride. All right, guys, so back over here on the trail, we're going to talk about the fork. And I have a little section where I'm going to hit the ramp sideways because I don't feel comfortable hitting them all the way. Let's hopefully I don't crash because this is not my bike. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to place this camera into the fork area. Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully you guys can see the travel right here. It's a little bit stiff right now. Let's see. It's unlocked. So you have locked. There you go. That is unlocked. And I guess right here locks it but it still moves so i'm gonna go all the all the way over here let's see how this goes the rebound is too high a way that uh somebody over here in the trail told me how to kind of set the rebound is just go with your hands right up against the uh, handlebar and compress it and let it go super fast and if it jumps off the ground the rebound is too high so that is actually moving too fast let's see what do we have over here so these knobs it only it does kind of like a quarter of a turn only let's see if that did anything well I did something it's still too fast it doesn't have well it does so I'm gonna go slower let's see I don't know why these decals they're always backwards there you go there you go that's what I want so I'm all the way to the slow position and then putting it back at around one o'clock I think that's the sweet spot for this one for me and this guy right doing the thing I don't hit these ramps yet. Let's see how this ramp, how this work does on this ramp. It isn't sideways though. That did not feel like a bottom out, which is a really good thing. It's actually doing a pretty good job. I mean, my hands are not tired. My arms are not tired. It's absorbing the little ones and the small ones. Now, on the rebound, it doesn't, it, it only turns like three quarters of the way. So what I did, I went all the way counterclockwise and then I placed my thumb at 12 o'clock and then turn it clockwise uh, to one o'clock to where my uh, thumb was at one o'clock and I kind of that kind of hit the sweet spot for me rider and a little bit of a drop a little bit of a jump I think it's been doing okay so far I haven't felt it bottoming out I have a root section right here and it's all good it's soaking everything up now one thing man I almost went over my handlebars About to hit that thing the camera is gonna go all the way down 
so bear with me that's the jump the heavy one so I did not feel it bottom out but I did feel something I'm gonna tell you what it is once I stop all right guys uh, back over here at the garage and we're gonna be talking about the four just the final impressions and again we have the mark uh, the Manitou Markor fork this one has a hundred millimeters of travel it has a little bit of rebound uh, adjustment at the bottom it only like uh, it turns the dial only turns like three quarters of a turn so to set it up for me what I did I turned it all the way the, uh, counterclockwise and then I placed my thumb at 12 o'clock and move it towards 1 o'clock and that seems to be hitting the spot for me I also ran it with 115 psi and it, it worked okay on the trail so this fork don't get me wrong this is a $300 fork so would I have personally bought it no why not because of the looks I don't like the rear arc for me that's I'm not into that but I respect anybody who likes this uh, Manitou forks because they're pretty big out there so if you like it if you don't mind the the rear arc this is a really good fork um, I was able to measure my the travel I was able to measure the travel that I did at the trail just because he doesn't have a compression ring but just by looking at the marks I was able to get 103.9 millimeters of travel uh, almost 104 millimeters of travel this is advertised as 100 millimeters of travel if I'm not mistaken and it also has it comes with a token that you can actually uh, service this and make it a longer travel I, I'm not gonna lie to you it might go up to 120 but uh, getting a little over a hundred yes this is our advertised at a hundred millimeters of travel and like I said I was able to get a hundred and four millimeters of travel and I did not feel this thing bottom out so if you're able if you feel comfortable taking this thing apart and increase the travel it's gonna be a great fork now remember uh, why wouldn't I have bought this is because I would have probably stuck with the right um, SR Sun Tour with a quick release because they come in tapered you can find a quick release taper and I'll leave affiliates if I can find it in the description below or you can also get a RockShox UD uh, taper and also with a quick release this one is a straight tour tube so we had to use the adapter to get it installed and it's we kept the original wheels so it's still running on quick release so this is 100 millimeters of travel with a nine millimeter uh, quick release axle it has a little bit of rebound and it has a lockout however the lockout doesn't completely lock out so it moves a few millimeters and like let's say I think it moves around a t 10 millimeters and then it stops so it has a little bit of a give so it's not a true true lockout did it perform well on the trail I cannot complain about that the only issue though that I found on the bigger I, you know I don't jump too much but on one of the jumps that I like to do on the trail you kind of land kind of hard so whenever it compresses all the way down I kind of felt the 2.6 tires rubbing up against the arc so with that said I will find this fork more suitable for 2.4 tires and uh, that way we're gonna uh, avoid the robbing issues now what I I don't qualify forks I mean like I said I'm a little biased because I don't like the rear arc but this was a really well fork so but for $300 I probably wouldn't have spent $300 on a fork uh, especially if I don't like the arc but it is a good fork there are other options out there that is gonna give you to the same um, that are gonna deliver almost the same thing let me measure the stanchions because we have a 30 millimeter stanchion width which is not bad so with that said 
There might be better options up there, but many of those options require you to change at least the front wheel to a true axle. So if you don't want to spend the money on getting the wheel replaced, this will do just fine or you can find some of the alternatives without them having to beat the really low budget unserviceable fork. So this is what I like about this one that this is a fork that you can service and it's not a buckless which performs almost as well but it's not a service of fork this one is so with that said uh, will I recommend it again if you like the rear arc and, and if you don't want to upgrade the front wheel and if you do the math uh, if it adds up to you if you want to spend $300 or maybe find it used on the Amazon warehouse go ahead and go for it I mean there is nothing wrong with this fork, light trail use, it worked fine, it took a few jumps, no issues. And other than that, it is, it is a good fork. It is a good fork, but again, if you have the capabilities to be able to upgrade to a taper fork, even though you most likely are going to have to, most likely, because not necessarily, you might also need to change the front wheel and if the mat adds up and is convenient for you, go that, I will go that route. And you can always use Facebook Marketplace offer up to find good deals like I have and it works out well as well so other than that I will recommend this fork I leave affiliate links in the description below and uh, if you want to support the channel check those links also just by uh, subscribing turning the notification bell on you can do that as well also if you share this video on social medias it'll help a lot more other than that, that's it for today. And if you want to support the channel in different ways, check the description. That's it for this one, guys. See you on the trails. Let's ride. Goodbye.